the eight ways to connect with God supernatural. This, you are going to use it as a tool to build yourself. And your life would ever, never be the same. Number one. Please, those are writing, don't distract yourself. Number one, cultivate God present in your life. Cultivate God present in your life. Cultivate God presence in your life. How summarize? The more you cultivate any environment that is conducive to the Holy Spirit, the more God presence you will gain. The more you cultivate any environment that is conducive to the Holy Spirit, is the more that God Spirit will carry. The what the meaning? The more you stay in God's presence, the more the power of God reveal in you. Uh, are you getting there? Yes. Are you together? Yes. The more you carry God's presence. You stay in that environment of God present. The more the presence of God increase in you daily. Though you need any environment, like I told you, that I spend time in church, I spend time at environment place. Many times I can spend even one month and never go to town. I come from my house, I stay in church, and I leave the church, I go to the house. I don't go anywhere. The more you stay in that kind of environment, of God present, more God power will be connected to you. I remember when my friends came from Namibia, I think they do not want to go because even when you have to beg them come to eat because every time we have a prayer pack, we have a place we call a prayer pack where you need to go and sit down. And you don't need a pastor, you don't need anybody. You go there and sit and spend your time there. Even you, you create, you can create an environment like that where you see the presence of God, the more you be in that area, the more God present is connected to you. That to say you must cultivate any environment like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting there? Yes. You cultivate this environment by spending time doing whatever it takes to have the personal and the presence of the Holy Spirit hanging out with you. How we confession and depend on the slightest learning clean, you confess, you cover yourself by the blood of Jesus, and if you are not praying, you can start singing. Bring 
that environment to become conducive for the Holy Spirit to take control. Are you getting there? Are you getting there? Do you cultivate, you, you, you I mean, is you, you bring God present. People think the presence of God only be in the church. No. There's any environment that you can create in yourself. It becomes conducive. When you reach there, you cover yourself by the blood of Jesus. You confess your sin. You repent. You become holy. And after that, you can now start praying. Or start singing. That you can bring the presence of God. Not singing like women. They sing only on the toilet when they've given them money. You sing from the heart. You know, you can be sitting here. You don't open your mouth, but you are singing. You know that? You can be singing in your heart. Though, as you sing in your heart, that the power of God has taken control. That, that the, the environment becomes con conducive. Though, you know yourself, you become holy because the presence of God is in you. More you do it, more you start inside and you start developing outside. Are you getting there? The, what you must start from the inside. Hello? You must start from the inside. The, it built inside. By you. If you're able to start mastering it, you're going to see yourself that uh, you don't need to pray. You see yourself praying. You don't need to sing. You see yourself eh, singing. Though there's something now, even when you want to go, something will tell you don't go. Even when you want to move, something will say don't move. Are you getting there? Though this is the way that the first thing you have to do is to call. That does not need a bishop. That does not need a pastor. That does not need a prophet. He needs only you alone. Can you hear me? Even in your room, even in your house, even in your office. I mean, there's many places that you can be make a holy place. You don't need only in the mountain. Sometimes when you go to the mountain, the snake can follow you there. The mountain can be in your house, can be in your office, can be in your room. I mean, you can create a place when you are there, no wife, no husband, no children, no, no one. I mean, you are not connected to anyone. You are only connected to heaven. Can you hear me? That the first thing you have to do is to prepare your mind to be connected. More you do it, more you cultivate. You are going to see like many people, you are here, you have set a time to prayer. There's no time for prayer. If you are connected to the Holy Spirit, you always wake you up. You wake you up and he, you tell you, this is the time of a prayer. You don't need to set alarm. Regardless how you are deep sleeping, when that time comes, it will wake you up automatically. And you must know this is the time of a prayer. Because we already cultivated. Now is him. He become, the remote control is by him now. He's the one monitoring you. Quickly confess and repent of the slightness leaning toward sin or spiritual darkness. Cover yourself under the blood of Jesus. Meditate in the word. Express worship to the Lord through song and prayer. Constantly invite the Holy Spirit to be with you in evidence ways as often as possible. Constantly invite the Holy Spirit to be with you in evidence ways as often as possible. Avoid anything that will grieve you or him. 
avoid anything that can grieve the Holy Spirit. What the meaning? Sometimes when in the holy places, you are praying, you are praying, you remember, hey, I did not pay the rent. Where am I going to get the money? There is no food at home. Where am I going to get something to eat? You grieve the Holy Spirit. When in that atmosphere, you don't need to think anything. Regardless you are in trouble, regardless you are, in, you are sick, regardless what happening to you, forget about everything. You flow in that presence. Are you together? Are you together? You will find that as your life will fill with the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit. Miracles, signs and wonder will be a natural of a few. Are you getting there? Now, because we have invited the Holy Spirit in you daily, is the one who is going to bring what you are looking for. Is the one going to channel you are you together? I don't pray for money. I don't pray for anything. I always only pray for the presence of the Lord to be with me. All the rest, I don't pray for anything. I don't ask. I don't ask anything from God. When the presence of the Lord comes in me, I will tell God what I want. The people with me for quite time, I will tell them that we want to do this. Many people will say, where are you going to get the money? I tell them, the Lord will provide. The same we have seen until we have reached today. Is why if you a man or woman of God, you cannot work supernatural. Your members are going to be in trouble. You are going to harass them daily. Every day. Say, bring money. Bring this. Bring that. Do this. Do that. And one day they are going to get tired and they run away. Can you hear me? One day they get uh, tired and they run away. But if you do it supernatural, God will touch them. I say, we have a chicken, take it to the church. The church needs a chicken. You have a bulanget, take it to the church. The church needs a bulanget. It's because now it's the Holy Spirit that is in you is the one going to search where is what you are looking for and how you can locate it and touch the people bring what you want and what is your need and your need will be met like I said your life will be filled with the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit miracles signs and wonders will be a natural overflow. The, what is the meaning? You don't need to pray for bread. Bread will come itself. Hello? The Holy Spirit that you have invited in your life, he knew that this time you need bread. This time you need a car. This time, I mean, every day I'm praying even to my members to don't borrow. If they want a car, God is going to give them the car. If they want a house, God is going to give them the house. As long as they raise them themselves, their life to the Holy Spirit, He will know exactly what they need. And God will make a way for them. Look. No one pushed anyone here came from Botswana to come here. This was the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Now what the meaning? 
All those people have come here voluntarily on their own. There's no way they can go back to their country who will not be blessed by the Holy Spirit. There's no way. This is a great risk. Hello? This is the evidence that you see how God operates our life. We are afraid. Look, Abraham, when God told him, go, leave your family, go there, I'm showing you. Abraham could not hesitate. He left and he went. And that time, Abraham, still poor, did not have anything. He could say, hey, I have nothing. How can I leave the comfort zone? Because the way I'm getting something to eat, how can I leave this place? But Abraham listened to the Holy Spirit. He left. He went. And where he became, I mean, a father of uh, many nations. We do miss when we cannot able to hear from the Holy Spirit. That first of all, you have to cultivate that environment that can be able to hear clearly from him. Hallelujah. Number two, cultivate God faith in your heart. Cultivate God faith in your heart. Through supernatural faith flows out the spirit and affect the mind. Through supernatural faith flows out the spirit and uh, affect the mind. Now you are getting there. That must know now. The faith that you are talking for faith is not natural. The faith that you are looking for is a uh, supernatural. How? You believe to something that you don't see. Something that is not existing. Something that is, I mean, you cannot see it. Like right now you say, you are healed. You cannot see it, but you see somebody rise up and start walking. Are you getting there? When you say, God, I want a house, even you have nothing in your account. But by faith, the house can come. Do that tell you that the house you are looking for, I will teach you because the faith we are talking about here is not the faith that is in you. The will of God. Is the will of where? Eh? Don't say I have faith. No. That faith that is connected with the will of God. That, I mean, what the meaning? What God says for you and you get in the spirit and you connect and you go to the you travel to the realm of the spirit you need to travel to the realm of the spirit to the supernatural and take the house and tomorrow our bishop can you see this is the house can you see but in the physical the house is not there in the spirit the house is there there are you getting there? Now, is your faith the supernatural faith that will move and go to collect it in the spirit and bring it to the natural? Are you getting there? This is the faith we are talking about. Like I told you, we build a church where we do not have money, we have nothing. Where we're supposed not to build, but we have eh, built because God eh, says so. All this eh, by faith. Faith is a risk taker. Can you hear me? Faith is something that you can tell the people uh, tomorrow I'm flying to Botswana, but you have no money for etiquette. But tomorrow they find you, you're in the airport, you're flying. Where the money came from, you don't know. But it happened. Are you together? Are you getting there? 
not the other way around. Faith defies logic. Can you hear me? Faith defies eh, logic. Because faith, <laughs> like I have my medical doctor who is here. Right now, I am standing here. God has given him the power. When a man cannot function, the wife is running away, the bedroom is cold. Just rush to me. I will do it just there and there. Ah, the woman is going to run away from the bedroom. Simple. This is the power God has invested in me. And uh, for now, we are not many. It's because when your high level faith goes, you can do anything. Though because you are connected like a child with a father. When you say, Daddy, I want this. When you have that good relationship, Daddy will say, Yes, yes, son, yes, son. Yes, son. Yes, son. Are you getting there? You're afraid. As were Old Testament prophet. We have no secret. And everything is be done openly. We don't do things hiding. No. Hallelujah. Faith defeat logic, like I say. In a logic way, this cannot happen, and you cannot talk about it here. But it's because of the level of level that we have crossed. Everything become nothing. Whatever is natural become eh, nothing because everything we do is controlled by the supernatural. Tell those who remain there, if they see struggling their marriage, the wife want to run away, tell them to rush here before it becomes late for them. Especially at the hierarchy, they have a big problem. They, I mean, the, the garden boy have taken over the house. Faith defines logic. And natural reality of a higher spiritual reality. It causes natural things to line up with what God has already accomplished spiritually. Are you getting there? It causes natural things to line up with what God has already accomplished supernatural. Like I told you, he said you need a house. The house is not here. But in the supernatural, the house is there. there. Are you getting there? Though now, your level of understanding must move and go there and take it from there and bring it here. People can eh, see it. Any question for that? <laughs> How? As you go on, you are going to understand. It causes natural things to line up with God, what God has already accomplished. You have said, you have heard. God already accomplished it, is there. Supernatural is there in the spirit. Your house is there, your husband is there, your car is there, your job is there, everything is already there. Supernatural now is your faith is going to take it from there and bring it here. People must say, See it. Hello, can you understand? Us who never go to school who teach simple with any evidence. I remember my friend Pastor Pauline when he came to our church. 
two people were manifesting. I said, come. Uh, I touched his hand. I said, go to pray for them. Before he even put his hand like this, a person get delivered already. He was shocked. Ah. <laughs> but all those things comes by faith. We continue faith. We must live in the world and constantly renew our mind. What made us to stuck? What made us, I mean, to, to open a gap? Is because our mind is corrupted. Can you hear? We think a lot of negative things in our mind. You focus on material. Hello? You focus on eh, material things. What is going to happen today? I have no muna, I have no car, I have no husband, I have no. No! Don't focus on those problems. Renew your mind. Your mind must always be clear. Filled by the Holy Spirit. And that is able to increase your faith. Let us continue about faith. Faith is born from revelation in the heart. Faith is born in the revelation in the heart. When truth is revealed to your mind and heart by the Holy Spirit through the world, faith comes alive on the inside of you. The faith that you are looking for is already there. Are you getting there? Now, what we are talking about here is about what we are saying. When the truth is be reviewed to your mind and heart by the Holy Spirit through the world, by faith, comes alive on the inside you. When we look at in John chapter 8 verse 33 it is written and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That is John chapter 8 verse 32. We see talking about faith. Soak your mind. You know about soak? Eh? Soak. Soak your mind and spirit in God's word by constantly setting your thought on it. Soak your mind in God's word constantly. Soak your mind. Every time, let your mind be renewed by God's word. Not by your problem. Not by your situation. Not by your challenge. Not by your difficulty. Not by your problems. Are you together? Soak your mind. And spirit. In God's word. By constantly setting your thought on it. And. The revelation of truth will produce supernatural faith in your heart. You know there are two kinds of faith. There's a natural faith. Natural faith, you say, I'm going to my father to ask money, he's going to give it to me. That is natural eh? faith. But I have nothing, I have nowhere to go, I have nowhere to rely. But I believe my God will make a way. That is a supernatural faith. Though there's no hope. No hope. There's nothing. You know yourself that there's no way to go. You are stuck. But your mind tells you my God will make a, a way. That is a supernatural faith that you need today. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, you need supernatural faith. Heart faith 
produced by the revelation of truth is the intimate key to operating in God power. Heart faith produced by revelation of the truth is intimate key of to operating in God power. You know, God power need the supernatural faith. A faith does come from nothing. A faith that come, I mean, you know is impossible. Hello? Like I, what I told you before, I came to understand that urologists, they will tell you when a man cannot function, they want to give, sell him, they call it unit. That unit, they sell it according to the measure of the money that you have. If that unit finish, the man become weak. Even the more you buy unit, more you affect him one time, he become nothing. I mean, I have them here. I have a young man here. Where is the comfort? Comfort where he is. You see, I have a young man there. This young man, one time, his man would went in. Nothing. There's nothing they can do because it becomes something natural. But with supernatural faith, what I did to pray for the boy, the three of them that day, used by prophecy, I touched it, mine who is alive and transferred to them. And the same minute they became alive. I mean, this is the level that we are looking for in all the country all over the world. Is there the functional? Though you, the heart faith, move to another level to say, yes, natural is impossible, but supernatural is a possible. Are you together? And the Bible tells us it comes from Jesus. Looking away from all that will distract you. Because what made her to stop? You know, let me say this, because you are men and women of God. Many women and men of God started very well when the ministry started they are very very closer to God do all the exercise when money comes they start being distracted with material and they lose everything are you getting there? you can start very well you move very well but when some material money comes distraction comes and the devil knew the end of the day before you wake up it is gone and now that you see now like I said before many pastors, many bishops many, I mean uh, even Catholic priests are resigning they don't want this work again it's because things work but it was temporary that you see all of us who are men and women of God who are using another power that is not God, power of God, it does not take time. It does not take care. It does not take time because it has no guarantee. It has no, no guarantee. It's not going to take you anywhere. This is the secret to maintain your level. More you do it, more, I mean, before when I started, to do healing or deliverance. Hey, sh hey, sh in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I must call Jesus even 20 times. But as it comes, you build yourself. You build yourself. Now, what happened? In the service when I just enter, the evil spirit started manifesting before being touched. And this is not many churches all over the world is done like that. When the man of God enter, people start manifesting. 
is not many places in the world. It's not many places in the world. When a man of God enters in the service, I mean, my friend from Namibia who visited the church, they've seen. When, the pres- when I just come, before I start talking, even when they've no, when I mean when I'm not out at my house, when I enter my office because I enter another way, you could see yourself when choir is singing, the manifestation starting, starting because my presence is. They don't see me. I'm there in the back, but the manifestation, you know, is already in the building. The powers come. Are you getting there? Now, when you see me landing, the people are watching Blessing TV Live. You see them. When I land, just standing there, it started. If I start talking, waste. Women start moving their clothes. Men start moving their clothes. And this kind of level is not many places all over the world. But you, as a man of God, you can also make it. Can you hear me? That God told me, please, teach it to other people. People must step in. People must also learn that they can be able to do it. Are you getting there? That may you know. In the world, most of the people does not tell the people the secret. They think people will compete with them. But me, God told me, more I teach you, more God take me to another level. Are you getting there? That they can. Like I said to you, I was there. Even sometimes when I pray somebody, oh yeah, he's dead. You pray for somebody, he's dead. You pray for, I say, ah, I'm killing people. Are you getting there? But this is to build me up. Right now, people watching me all over the world, I say to the people, yes, on television, raise up your hand. I mean, we're going to hear one, I mean, I did not yet, did not yet meet the pastor, but your message I reached. The pastor who get healed from the Blessing TV is here. Is here, our pastor is there. Is here, a pastor from Namibia. He has gone everywhere. He's going to testify tomorrow. Is going because today the time is going to be the first person to testify tomorrow. Is going to testify tomorrow that may learn how God can take you to another. Here in Namibia, sir, have you seen me before? You never meet me before. You meet me on television. You tell you where you've gone. You hide it today. You've gone everywhere. You have meet men and women of God, powerful them, encounter one by one, touch him. It could not happen. But just watching Blessing TV, where you never see, never see, is healed that you see him is here. And uh, he did not come from Windhoek. He came from another town. He traveled to come and testify and meet the man that he saw on television. Sir, you are going to get double portion. Now, you rise up, sir. I'm speaking in your life. You have been looking for healing. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to touch you. You are going to heal. Can you hear me, sir? You are looking for healing. Now, your time is come. You are going to heal them. Are you getting there? It's by faith you believe. You have gone everywhere. But at this time, this television, it cannot bypass me. Hello? You have gone. You're going to tell you himself. Uh, you have his own story. You tell where you've gone. And you have touched him before, face to face. But it could not happen. But after just seeing a television that he never seen before, he put his hand in the screen. That affliction is gone. Is able to travel from another town to here to meet the same man that you saw on a television. I say double portion. Because he only moved by faith. You see, he have gone everywhere. Like a, I mean, like a, a, a woman of issue of blood. He said, this time I don't want to miss. Hallelujah. Who is the leader 
and the source of our faith. Giving the first sensitive of our belief. And also it finishing bringing it our maturity and perfection. What is the meaning? This is written in Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2. Is the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus Christ. When you have a high level of faith, you become like Jesus. You know that? Huh? When you have that high level of faith, you become like a Jesus. I told you before, Jesus said, you can do more than what I did if you believe. Three. Add action to your faith. Add action to your faith. Add action to your yes, your natural faith is there. But you must raise it. That you must move to the supernatural that you can able to actions. I mean, that you can move to another level. Listen to me. The power anointing comes for a reason and has any intended purpose in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1 says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken heart to proclaim liberty to the captivity and to open the prison door to those who are banned. <laughs> now, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. What is prison? Many pastors, many bishops, many archbishops are in prison. We are not talking about this prison. No. We are talking about spiritual eh? prison. Many of us who are banned, that you see, pastors, bishops are resigning is because this work is not working for them. They tried what could do, but they're limited. More they pray, more they're sinking. But when that power comes upon you, first of all, a blind man cannot be lead a blind man. A poor cannot help a, a poor. What happened? If me standing here, I'm not totally delivered. I cannot deliver other people. That you see, what is the meaning? When I was baby in Christianity, I was delivering small demons. But more I've gone higher, more demons have become eh, higher. Can you hear me? Coming here, now this day, as just I'm teaching like this, the demon will rise up and say, no. What are saying, no. We'll kill you. Stop what you are saying. It's very rare when a man of God preaching or teaching, the demon start manifesting. It does not happen. Why? Is the word that you are speaking is associated with fair power. is affecting them. Can you hear me? It's affecting them. Even me, I mean, they know every day. Every day the demon will tell me, I want to kill you. I say, I'm ready to die. Are you getting there? It's what? They've seen the level that I've reached. Uh, listen to me, pastors who want to do deliverance and healing. Healing is very simple. But deliverance is very complicated. What is the meaning of deliverance? Is somebody who is in another prison locked up? Is there locked up in prison? God, remember when Peter was in prison? They chained him and the guard was there. The same way, when you are in a spiritual bond, you can be walking. You can be eating, you can be driving, but you are locked up in a prison. Now, if you, a man or woman of God, want to deliver these people, 
you must know that must be higher than the spirit that has locked them inside there. If not, that spirit will finish you. Can you hear me? Now, deliverance, take it easy. Can you hear me? Some of us, why things have changed is because we touched it. People who cannot, who could not suppose touch, we went to the zone that you cannot go. Are you getting there? There will be a time if God wants to take you to another level, He will take you. But take your time. Say to your neighbor, take your time. Say to your neighbor, take your time. I remember some of my member told me the truth. They say, hey, when you see the manifestation of the evil spirit, who pray, eh. Hey, in the morning they say hey, maybe the prophet is not dead because they've seen the power maybe the evil spirit was too much they say ah, maybe we'll find the prophet is dead because hey, the evil spirit was too much I told them it's not the body that you see even when the evil spirit touched me I tell them leave him after a few minutes you release it's because no longer the body even right now they'll tell you ah, come here ah, there's a fire here it's why God, when you come near him, he take over you. Now, that even Paul that he say, is no longer me living, is Christ living in me. Yeah. Are you getting there? Yeah. That shows even how the high level, like this trip of Namibia, the devil refused. He did not want me to come here. What happened? The first time, the committee here, they applied for my visa. The first application, when they went to ask, the application was lost. They did the second application. Just on Monday, they turned down the application. They said rejected. What time? At 3 p.m. That they're telling me, ah, yeah, we've done everything, but they'll be rejected. I said, don't give up. I say. Leave it in Namibia. I'm going to apply myself here. What's the meaning? That on Monday and tomorrow, Tuesday, yesterday, Tuesday, I must leave. I went to the embassy of Namibia. I reached there at quarter past four. That the time I was submitting my application for visa. They said to me, five days. I said, no, tomorrow I must go. They said, ah, we don't know. I left, I went. When I went around to where I think my brother was there, I called them uh, is before, uh, before yesterday. I called them at 12 noon. I said, I told them in a polite way, I'm not pushing you, but I need a favor. Can I have the visa? Oh, prophet, uh, come at three. And I went at three, they give me the visa. <laughs> well, I told them we want to go to a crusade in Arena, and Ebers Arena. They changed the venue. Why? They are not their fault because from Sunday, the rain was very heavy in here every day. Heavy rain here in Namibia. Every day. They say, ah, the crusade cannot be in open place. I said to them, I'm sending my people. Even when my people came on Sunday, the rain was here. I said, go there, do something. They did something. They're still complaining, go oh, have to change the venue. I said, don't change the venue. Leave it there. And uh, because I believe, yesterday, at the finalizing, because they've seen the rain is gone, police came with a big chain. They locked the venue. Say no one can attend the crusade here. We are still there in the border. The phone rings. My bone rings. Uh, Pastor Sikh starts shaking. Hey, what is going to happen? I say, don't worry. Hey, those are the women being locked. God is going to open because he told him I must go there. Yeah. In the afternoon, a phone call came. Oh, they've opened. And they are going to be there. Yes, yes, yes. Though, to tell you, when you cannot hear from God, you will fail. But when you hear from God, 
any obstacle that comes is to raise up your faith eh? higher. To raise your faith eh? higher. I mean, he was there. More than 50 police came. Big chain. They locked the place. When we're still in the way coming, we receive a call. My pastor started panicking. I said, don't worry. I said, there's no rain. Is there any rain today? Is there any rain today? People of little faith. People of a little faith. There's no rain and the arena is open. And the same people who refuse visas. And the same people look there. They are going to be there. Though you don't walk by sight. You walk by faith. The one who walks by sight will be intimidated. And you lose hope. Are you getting there? You lose hope. In, I said to you, when I started my church, I did not look at the number. But right now, what I say we have no membership. The group that we have seen this Sunday is not the group we are going to come next Sunday. That what the meaning, the whole world is our members. How you are, you are shaking when the members start going from your church. Hey, hey, hey. So, 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 where are you? Hey, so, 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 where are you? We have no list in our church. Even these people came. We have no record their names. No one is written. You give tight, it's up to you. You don't give up to you. You pay offerings, up to you. Don't pay offerings, up to you. This is the way we live in our church. Everybody is free. Him and his God. Are you getting there? You and your? We don't push anyone. You pay tight, is you. You don't pay, is you. We have no problem. You leave the church, bye bye. You come back, you're welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. No one, believe me, even one who's in the road will not ask where you've been known. How are you? How are you? Fine. We'll not ask you where are you. There's no text message. Ah, where are you? No, we don't call you. First of all, you come yourself. If you leave, you are free to leave. If you come, you are free to come back. You are welcome. Why should I stress myself? Are you getting there? All this, only the level of a faith. A prophet or a pastor is not to be employed by man. It's to be employed by God. Member comes, they don't come. You have no problem. You have a problem with eh? God, not the eh? members. Are you getting there? Eh? Are you together? Pastor, are you offended? Pastor, are you offended? The truth has set you free. Can you hear me? This is the faith that we are talking about. That will take you to another level. You don't look at the people. Don't look about the amount number. Number cannot move. This arena we've seen there, the WC Tabernacle. I mean, my chief is a witness. When we started that church building, we only have 50 members. 50 people. We are building that house you see there. More than 2,500 square meters. We build one 50 member and there's no rich person. Only the people who have a small salary. But to able to build it is by faith. We don't look about the number. You don't look about the money. Look about the one tell you to do. And he will provide. He will provide. Stop stressing your members. Leave them alone. They give is okay. They don't give is okay. Let them put them, give them a task. Them and our God. Offering tight first fruit. Special offering is God command. More you do it from the heart, more God bless you. Normally, you people here in the Old Testament. A man of my caliber, you cannot be seeing me. Before you see me here, you could bring, I mean, a very significant offering 
to put here before I give you what I'm giving to you. I cannot ask anything from you. If God told me to come to Namibia, you have money, no money, I'll take money from my pocket, I'll do it. Because God told me to do it. This is the way we've lived. We don't rely on human being. We rely on God. If you say to do it, you do it. And you know what will be the outcome. Yes. We're still talking about faith. You must be and intentional in looking for opportunity in which this anointing will be needed. The Bible tells us faith without work is dead. You get it in James chapter 2 verse 20. James chapter 2 verse 20. The power anointing is given to help other people in a supernatural way uh, in the process review God had and a natural to them like I give you an example before a man who become important we have seen many people from Zambia from Zimbabwe from everywhere no Botswana don't talk about uh, I remember we have some people in Zambia 20 years a man cannot function in Zimbabwe, 15 years a man cannot function. Nothing. But the supernatural power will just touch the same minute it happened. And believe me, these two ways the medical doctors failed when the eyes is affected the medical doctor will make sure to give you medication and give you glasses that can maintain, that can see. When a man wood is finished, there's no medical doctor can bring it back alive. It needs recreation. It needs a recreation. You need God to recreate and that need a supernatural eh, power. Are you getting there? That need a supernatural eh, power. I mean, men that day, I'm also a man. When a man cannot function, he become useless, he become a cabbage at home. Am I lying, man? Thank you. He become a cabbage. Even women, when you talk, keep quiet. Even your children be in trouble. When a children make a small noise, he cannot insult you because you are there. He just say, ah, when they talk about men, they talk about you. And he say, look at your big head. He's he insulting you, but he, he insulting your, he, you think he's insulting your, your child. No, he's insulting you. He's very angry. And that time you can see all the plate and the grass you could finish in the house. Just to provoke you. He can just break in deliberately. Blah! He say, that you're waiting for you to talk. When you talk, you see how it's going to fix you, the woman. Because you are not doing what you're supposed to do. Are you getting there? But by God's power, in this region, the power is there. One kick, you function. Don't allow yourself to get discouraged. Like I told you before, one time I prayed for someone, he died. I prayed for another one, he died. I prayed for another one, she died. I said, ah, now I'm killing people. When I, I, sometimes when I hear, somebody is very sick. When they're looking for me, tell them I'm not here. Because he's going to die again. But God told me, don't be discouraged. More you make mistakes, more you learn. Are you getting there? More you make a mistake, more you stay focused and tenacious. 
No matter what you see, set your vision higher. Hallelujah. What matter you see, set your vision eh, higher. Are you today? Know and understand God, will, and truth, and allow His faith to move you to action. This will release the power of God and produce the miraculous. Number four. Passionately pursue spiritual gift. Are you getting there? Pursuing is not when I've seen the first action, you see I'm there. No. You continue to do it in your closet. Not when I've done it yesterday. The whole uh, 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 I think Namibian National Radio must know. You keep it quiet yourself slowly, slowly. The power goes when you don't know exact what is your gift. Here, yeah, let us go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1. Tells us to earnest desire spiritual gift. Spiritual gift of healing, working of miracles, word of knowledge, and faith are all invaluable manifestation for the ministry of miracles. As you ask God to steer them up, he will. Are you getting there? Don't go ahead of God. You must wait God to steer it for you. What the meaning? I mean, you cannot eat palace when they take it just straight from the shop. It need to be cooked first. And when it's ready now, you can be able to eat. Are you getting there? They must wait for the Holy Spirit to prepare it for you. That when you go there like I told, when your presence is there, it's no longer you. It's God himself manifesting through you. Are you getting there? Don't take things of God personally. <laughs> that break our heart. When people say to you, why it does not happen? Ah, it's not me. <laughs> it's God. Me, I've done my part. If you say lay hand, you lay hand. He does not get healed. It's not you. Are you together? Wait for the Holy Spirit to steer it. No, what they mean? To prepare it for you. Hallelujah. The Greek word of the gift of the Spirit is is charisma. Charisma C H A R I S M A. Charisma. C H A R I S M A. Charisma. That in the Greek word. The spiritual gift. In the Greek word. We strongly accordance define as a gift of grace. The charisma is a gift of grace. You see, like I said, before, I have to touch people. But now, I don't need to touch people. The gift of the grace gift. The, what is the grace gift? You do not work for it. Are you getting there? You do not work for I cannot boast. It's me healing the people. No. I do not work for it. What the meaning? God choose who he want to use. Can you hear me? I told my people in Botswana, ah, why Botswana? No. God choose who you want to use. That even I've crossed in Namibia. Namibia, and like it or not, I'm here. I came to help them. Because God has chosen me. Regardless how short I am, how ugly I am, is not your problem. It's what I'm carrying. That mina. Are you getting there? Are you getting there? 
Don't this the gift of grace is God who gives. It's God who chooses. There's no way we can say not this one, not that one, not that. No. Is God say is this one? Though there's no way you can say no. Are you getting there? And when that grace comes back to you, many people say, Why him? Why him? Tell him, ask God, why me? Are you getting there? Ask God, why he? me? Because it's God who chooses. It's God who says, I want this one. It happened to Jesse. Jesse children where David was born. When prophet Samuel came to annoy it, they brought all the sick children, elder. Prophet said, I don't see anyone here. Ah, the father was shocked. And the question was, only those children have. Say yes, only they have. Ah, oh, 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 the small boy is there. He's taking care of the cattle. He's in the farm. Say yes, I want that boy. I cannot live here until I see him. That the time they brought David. And when Jesus said, David, Yes, this is the boy I'm looking for. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look, David was not educated. David was a, a head boy, stay in the cattle post, taking care of the sheep. But when God said, It's him until they go, went to look for him. Even you, I come here to look for you that I can anoint you. That many people could not come missing. But when you are going to be like Elisha, who received double portion, people are wondering, ah, 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 ah. What think he was joking, he was following that man. What think this man was crazy. But after getting, it's too late. When they want to look for Elijah, it's gone. It's too late. Are you getting there? It's too late. It's too late. I'm going down what I'm telling you in the advance. Oh, this spiritual gift. When I'm going to reach number eight, you are going to learn how exact it comes. Are you getting there? Yes. How exactly it comes. We're about to finish number five. Practice fasting and pray. Practice fasting and uh, pray. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 and 21, gives any account of the healing of any epileptic boy. The disciple could not cure him, but Jesus did. When Jesus was asked why the disciple could not success, he said he say it was because they are unbelief. It was not a question of God will. No. Did Jesus focus on the boy faith. No. It was the level of faith in the disciple heart. Yet also point out that this kind does not go out except by fasting and prayer. Verse 21. Fasting and prayer is not like many people are fasting and pray that may have money or they have solution to their problem. Set your neighbor wrong attitude. Fasting and prayer is not about you get what you want. Fasting and prayer is that my grow spiritually. More you fast, more you pray, more you become closer to God. Are you getting there? It's not that my game material. No, that my the spiritual life must be. I mean, more you starve the body, more your spirit become eh, higher. Are you getting there? It does not come easy. It comes in fasting and eh, pray. Though your fast and pray, not that your church must be growing, that you must be closer to God. 
Are you together? Prayer and fasting help to release God's faith within us. It is the faith that produces the miracle, not the fasting. Hello? It is the faith that produces a miracle, not a fasting. Are you together? Fasting and prayer is instantly saved as a passage way unto the fruitfulness of faith that exists in God's heart. Again, isn't it by our work, by faith, by his faith, and grace extended toward us. Like I said before, fasting and prayer is not that can go higher. Fasting and prayer to maintain your relationship with God. Are you getting there? Eh? That may be closer to God. More your body staff, more your faith raise up more you become spiritual being. Are you getting there? More you become spiritual eh? being. Number six. Learn to hear God's voice. Learn to hear God's eh? voice. To, to operate in the supernatural, we must develop a keen sensitive to the personal of the Holy Spirit. God does not work the same way all the time and we need to hear his direction of each situation. Can you hear me? We will see the illustration of Jesus here. Consider Jesus. He saw signs and wonders on a consider basic in his daily life. But he never prayed the same way twice. Sometimes he lay hand on people. Sometimes he instructed them to take a specific action. Sometimes he did unusual things himself such as spit in the ground and put the mud in the person's eyes. And uh, he was unconventional but completely spiritual lead. He was unconventional. is completely spiritually lead. Are you getting there? Don't say when we lay hand like this. Next time you see laying hand the same. No. Listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. This time, I mean, many people who are very sick, very sick, they cannot walk. Uh, I'll just go to them if they're using crashes. I remove the crashes from them. I say to them, walk. And they walk. Oh, I can stand far like this. I say, you, 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 rise up and walk. And the person rise up and walk. Are uh, you understand? There's many ways. Don't you see? Ah, since I lay hand like this, this time, let me continue. No. You must listen. You see? Many times when somebody, when you are talking to me in this way, I have another voice telling me this way, do this. It's the way I operate. When you are talking to me, I have this problem. This year, somebody telling me, telling me this, telling me to do this. Because I'm listening to you at the same time, I'm listening to the voice of God. Because only him can bring solution to you. Me, I have no solution for you. That you see, I can come here. If I start walking in the street here, inside here, I will pick someone, I will tell him, This is your problem. And I will raise up my hand. I'm going to see the manifesting there and there. This is the way. And that, that same time, the problem also is finished. Amen. Learn to hear from God. The key, he did only what he saw. Listen to me. The key, Jesus did only what he saw, what his father was doing. In John 
chapter 5, verse 19. His ability to hear and see the action his heavenly father came out at the time he spent with him in prayer and communion. More you take your time in the communion of God, more God communicates with you. In the same way, Jesus, somebody is blind, but is spit again in the ground, make saliva with mud. That is quiet. He was killing the eyes again. Somebody is already not seeing and put again mud in his eyes. What is he doing? To destroy the eyes. But even receiving the Pharisees get, get annoyed. Why should you do that? But you don't understand many ways God operates in us. If you are a true man of God, you get the instruction from him. Are you getting there? You remember on our day of crossover, God told me to bring apron. I mean, that apron started around, I think, midnight until 6 a.m. Because the numbers, everybody touched it. Every, now that apron, from the 1st of January until today, is still creating miracle. But the apron has left as we end somewhere. But that same apron, people touch it until today, is still creating miracle in people's life. Are you getting there? Though as a man and woman of God, you must listen to what God says about the situation. Don't quick to answer. Are you getting there? People have known when you send a prayer request to us, you will see our answer, it is well in Jesus' name. What is the meaning? It is well. It is a full package of what you are looking for. Are you getting there? It is well in Jesus' name. That shows, let shall he be according to the will of her God. This will often require you to pull away unto a desert place. <laughs> like I said, a desert place not go, don't only go to the mountain. There's some people go to the mountain. Are you getting there? Uh, let's just say you're a young woman. Can you go along the mountain? Huh? Can you go along to the mountain? It's a risk. Are you getting there? Now, where the mountain is, any place that you have made a holy place, it becomes your mountain, a desert place, a place, desert place, where there's no distraction, where it's quiet, where it's still place, where no one can distract you. That is the desert. You see even many times when Jesus, when he want to pray, he will leave the disciple. He go to the desert. What do mean? He go to the quiet place where no one can distract him. More I stay in God's presence, more my marriage becomes stable. It's not being every day with your wife that your marriage is stable. No. More you increase God in you, more you are able to manage your house. Simple. Can you hear me? Even when the tension comes, God himself is able to cool it down. Are you getting there? When there's two people, they always be challenging. People do sorts of things, but God himself take care of the situations. Are you getting there? Take care of the situations. You need God more than your wife. You need God more than your husband. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you want to know your husband very well, you must be closer to God. If you want to know your wife very well, you must be closer. Because only him can reveal to you the secret of your partner. You will never know it. Regardless of how many years of stay, is a waste of time. This will often require you to pull away onto a desert place so you can place 
all your heart and your mind on him. Are you getting there? Because when you pull yourself, no distraction, your mind is clear. Now your whole heart, and I mean, don't leave the cell phone, leave everything everywhere. You go, I mean, you are there. Are you getting there? I have my office where is my prayer room. In my house also I have my own prayer room. I can sleep in my prayer room. My wife cannot sleep in my prayer room. Though I must have a quiet place where I have time with me and my God. When you exercise your spiritual senses by learning to listening, not just talk. What is the meaning? When you go to that place, you are not going to, in my language, say, that is my language. Are you getting there? You are not going to tell God, I want money, I want a husband, I want a wife, I want a house, I want a car, I want a promotion, I want a... No! You are going there, thank him, and raise up your faith, start praying the spirit, start worshiping the spirit. Now, be sensitive to listen to God. Be sensitive to listen to... You must be sensitive to listen to... You must be sensitive to listen to God. You must be listening. Not only you talking. You must have time also to listen. You keep quiet. You know, as a prophet of God, prophet of God I pray in my house. My wife is sleeping here. I'm praying here. No one can hear me praying. I don't make noise. God hear your heart. <laughs> Can you hear me? You could cry and cry and cry and remain a cry. God is not going to hear you. God hears your heart. Is your heart must communicate to him. Many times when somebody raise up a demon, raise up. You see me keep quiet. But inside me, I'm bowling for prayer. You see a few minutes to see the person who says he's going to kill him is the one falling down. It's not necessary to make noise. You can pray louder. But if you see you are going to disturb people, don't make noise. Because the person that you are talking is not a physical person. is a, a supernatural person. When you just whisper, he can hear you. Because you know your heart, he knows your heart, he knows your mind. Are you getting there? Before you open your mouth, you already know what you're talking about. Why should you make noise? I don't say you cannot pray louder. You can. But don't disturb people. Like women, they'll make noise. I send back to sender. I send back to sender. Who is the sender? Maybe you're the sender yourself. <laughs> Are you getting there? Who is the sender? Maybe there is a your character you can be the sender of your problems you can be a witch to your own life you know that you know that you do not know that you can be a witch in your own eh? your character can be the sender to your own problem now you say I send back to sender you send to yourself <laughs> You will be led by the Spirit to see wonderful manifestation of His power. I knew as I've landed this place, it will happen. It will ah. It's not about me. It's about the one who sent me. Are you getting there? It's about the one who sent me. It will happen. The devil like it or not. I'm here. And it will happen. Yes, let's go to verse uh, chapter uh, 9. Uh, now I want to finish. As you said, 
with the anointing. Associate with the anointing. A major key for me in being true to new level of God power was learning that it was okay to go where God was moving. Some people think if God wants to give me something, he, he come right here into my room. I don't need to go anywhere. Of course, God can meet us in our room. And many times he does. Whatever, he doesn't nega the fact that you can liberate cash the anointing by pulling yourself in a place where God is moving. Find people and ministry that were carrying God and get around them. We learn from each other and receive impartation of God through association. Are you getting there? You have come because what you've seen happening on television, is it? Now I've come here that also you can be able to get your impartation. This power that God has invested in me, it can be imparted in you by being in this same environment. Are you getting there? Go where you can see, there you can grow. You see, I salute my bishop here. You are very blessed. It's very rare to a bishop to release his pastors to go to another ministry that they can be imparted. It doesn't happen. The bishop is so selfish. But this is the bishop who sent that group came all the way from Namibia. It's him sent them. He said to them, you can go. When you want to go there, you can go. You see? And him say he does stay here. I think it's 600 kilometers. See? They came from Angola between Angola and Namibia. Where is coming from? But he came here. And most of the people you see wearing greens, that is, is pastors and is evangelists. He told all of them they must come here. That they must come to work in this conference and to this uh, crusade. And the member that are coming to attend the, the crusade. Now, that light is going to enter his ministry. Sir, can I before the end of this year just come to touch my hand? Just raise up, just raise up, raise up. Now, you are only be operating in Namibia. Now you are able to cross Namibia. Just rise up. You are going to cross Namibia. Because you see, the humble spirit that moves God. You see, he never meet me, he never know me, he never see me, but he came a long time ago here, I think from Monday he was here, moving around, making this crusade and this uh, conference to be successful. He only see me on television. He never meet me personally. Look, he's the first person to touch the harvest. You are going to see, before the end of this year, I know you are not driving, but you are going to drive the most expensive car that you never buy for yourself. You see, he, he took a man with a heart to humble yourself. Like I said to you, I'm not boasting, but I carry 6,600 volts of power. What is the meaning? That you see, when I enter my service, those who watch Blessing TV will see that, I mean, the place become unusual. Not even the people, not even not new people in our church, 
He is not say I be delivered. No. You can be three, four years, but one day it took you just like that. It's like that. In our church, you don't want me to be here for five years. No. There will be a day. Ah, you find yourself start rolling down. and say, what is it? Because the power comes differently. Are you getting there? Sir, you are blessed. Let's just stay together, be together. I want to see you also privately. There are some things I want to talk to you privately. Let's just meet together for these two days and go back to your hometown. You are going to see what will happen to you. Thank you. Associate yourself where you can see is moving. I mean, you have a flock to lead. You need that power that that flock must increase. You know, it's not easy to be, I mean, he's a bishop. How many pastors are under me? Thank God, me, I'm not a bishop. I'm only a prophet. I have no pastors under me. <laughs> are you getting there? It's not easy. How many kind of characters? Every pastor he placed there, he have his own character. Every pastor he placed there, he have his own character. Now God must be able to help you to lead those characters and their members. It's not easy. It's not a it's not easy. You need God's grace. That you see, at the end of the day, you resign. Are you getting there? Anointed fellowship, like what have come today. It's anointed fellowship. Anointed fellowship. Whether from meeting with another person or from listening to anointed teaching, series, and videos is crucial, crucial to cultivating the anointing in your life. As you said, with God's power by hanging out where he is. When you hang yourself where the anointing power is, it's easy to impart to you. Are you getting there? It's easy to impart eh, to you. Let us go to number eight, the last one. We thank God for this grace. Number eight, be, motivate, be motivated by love. Be motivated by eh, love. Say to your neighbor, this is the key. This is the key. If God want to use you, say if God want to use you, you must practice true love. You, must practice through love. you believe that? Yes. When you go to First Corinthians chapter chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. I read. And now those three things remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of those is love. Love must be the foundation for everything you do. Without it, power can lead to pride and self inflation. Can you see what has made men and women of God down? The boast, they say, is me, I've done it. When we have the compassion of love, there's no way you can take, you take over. No. When you don't have that power, of love, it will lead you to selfishness, to pride. Are you getting there? It will lead you to pride. Did the things has made men and women down is pride. Are you getting there? It's not God did not call them. You can be called by God, but at time God on goes on. When you take over God. 
you go down. Love is the greatest manifestation of God's power. It was because of love that Jesus walked in total obedience. It was because of love that the power of sin and Satan were defeated. Love is what motivates our faith. When we see in Galatians chapter 6, so chapter 5 verse 6, In chapter 5 and 6. We're about to finish now. Galatians chapter 5 by 6. I read. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcised has any value. That only things that counter is faith expressing itself through love. Faith expressing itself through love. Love is what calls us to live in the spirit. Can you see? Love is the one who calls us to live in the spirit. What is the meaning? God is love. When we have love, represent eh, God. Love is the greatest ritual of all. Without faith, you can't please God. But without love, you can't know Him at all. <laughs> Can you see? Without faith, you cannot please God. But without love, you cannot know him at all. Love filled with truth in the intimate spiritual weapon against sin, temptation, offense, disunity, sickness, oppression, and spiritual corruption and death. Love conquer all. As you apply those principles to your life with God, expect to see His glorious power and anointing release in you and through you. Though there is someone out there who is waiting for a miracle, they need God's touch. Your life and obedience of God may be missing ingredients. What the meaning? Through you, many people can get saved. Many people can get delivered. Many can people get uh, blessed. Because of your love, people's life can uh, change. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. married woman here you love God so much but you are not happy in your marriage it's not your husband is not good but regardless how good he does that spirit in you is telling you your husband is not good not only that even when you talk about your private party, is a challenge. You are wet always. You are wet always. And uh, you have no affection at all 
of your husband. Even when he approach you, when he touch you, you feel like any stranger touching you. God wants to deliver your marriage. God wants to deliver your marriage now. God wants to deliver your marriage now. I just want to pray for you that wait that no affection it must stop right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Just come forward. You are here in this section. It's not necessary to feel shy. This is troubling you in your marriage. Your affection. Why should you pretend in church you are a leader? You pray, whatever. When you go home, like you are in the hair, you know yourself, you are here in this section, you are married woman. Why are you feeling shy? You are a leader in the church. You pray. You fast. This situation is coming. The more you pray, the more you are pressed. Eh? Many times you wake up, you find yourself wait. What is this? up my hand. Let it be done according to God's will. <laughs> you demon, leave him. Come out! Leave him! Leave him! Leave him! Leave! I say leave! Go! I say go! Go! Leave this body. Leave this body. Leave. Go. Leave him. <laughs> Leave him. Go. 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 This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Why should we stop him? They have chosen to follow God. They have chosen to follow God. You demon. You demon. Now who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? What have you done to this woman? What have you done to this woman? What have you done to this woman? Speak you demon. What have you done to this woman? She belongs to Christ. You speak to her husband. You speak to her husband. This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Leave! Leave! Go! 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 Fire all of your body! 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 You must go. She belongs to Christ. You must leave her. Go. You must go. Your time is over. Your time is over. Go. I say go. Who are you? Can you hear? Who are you? Can you hear? Who are you? <laughs> now, if a man is not patient, 
this end up to the divorce. <laughs> because the man tried to touch, he said, no, I don't want. <laughs> Your time is over. <laughs> Leave this place. Leave this place. There's nothing you can do. We must leave. Go. Leave this place. Leave. Leave this place. Go. Never come back again. Put his, put his hand. Turn the stomach. Okay. Whatever is not planted by God in this body, I command in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go. 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 <laughs> fires entered the 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 fires entered in Jesus name she's free rise up you are free rise up you are free where is the husband how are you? <laughs> huh? I'm fine, Pastor. How's your experience with your wife? Come, 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 come inside. How is your experience with your wife? It's very difficult. Huh? It's very difficult sometimes. You want to give up? I never give up. You never give up. She's not the one. That spirit that was in Jesus. I come back for your life. God told them to move. You have no power to stop. This family decided to follow God. Let it be according to your will. Thank you, Lord, for what has done in this family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. changed already. They have yeah. given you your position. Not yet, men of God. They have to give you. Amen. Like Thank you. you. How are you, man? Yes. I'm blessed, Papa. Mm. I'm happy to see you in Namibia. I have to see you too. Amen. I come to talk to you. Amen. That was a very long journey for you. Amen in time of a relationship. Amen. You tried to invest your life. Amen. But thank God you decide to come to WCCC. Amen. Your life has changed your rate completely. Amen. You thank God for your life. Amen. I have a testimony to share. You have a testimony to share. Amen. You are going to share it. These are the people of Easter. When? when? In February. In February. In These are the, the people of Easter there. WCC in February. You see, February, March, they already have a testimony. Amen. That they risk the maid leaving Namibia. Leaving Namibia, going there, 
And when they came back, they already have a testimony. Amen. It does not take time you to get a testimony. Are you getting there? It does not take you time to give a testimony. How are you, sir? Mm. How are you, madam? Mm. I think you made a very great decision to come to this conference. The journey when it started was very good. Very good when the journey started. Very good. Perfect. But as time has gone on, even right now, not only about material, Perfect. even your bedroom life Perfect. has gone down. Am I lying, man? You are not lying, Prophet. Now you're asking a lot of questions. What is this? What is it? What is it? Listen to me. There's no one to blame. You know what the devil does? He, he set a time. He releases a time. When we reach that particular point, he uses the remote control. I've seen you already. I want to touch you right now. Right now, everything is going to get shaped today. You must thank God to the person that invited you to this. Mm -hmm. And I'm thank God for your life because you did not say no. You it's said perfect. you must go there. That's yeah, perfect. Come, madam, let me first hold my hand. And right. Sir, so come. So to tell you, this is an Old Testament prophet. Come. Look here. Do you know this man? Look here. Do you know him? Huh? Huh? I cannot hear you. You know him? Ask him, ask him. Huh? <laughs> you know this man? <laughs> Sir, who is this woman? My wife. She's your wife? Yes. But she says he doesn't know you. He's not himself. He says he does not know you. Who he, brought her he, here? He's not the one speaking. You are the one who brought her here? Yes. Ma... This man is saying you are the wife. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look this man, look. Not me. Look this man standing here. What you mean? Huh? What you mean? This man is standing here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah. Mm -hmm. Look here. Mm -hmm. Look this man he says your husband. Mm -hmm. Sir, what do you say about your wife? Uh, she become angry quickly. Any the small wife. thing, she get angry. Yeah. Now I see the speed that in him. She's not the one. Yeah, no. That I told you, you people are very there in top, but mm -hmm. now everything is going down. That's perfect. I mean, you are not old. You see, the young people in the bedroom still continue to be, I mean, uh, I mean, in life. But look, sir, don't worry. A true prophet, when you see your problem, God already given the answer. Yes, prophet. Amen. Now, who are you? Speak. Who are you? Look here. Who are you? Huh? Look here. You demon, speak. Who are you? 
Who are you? Huh? Huh? Husband. You are the husband. Ah, what about this man standing here? Ah. You. Me, 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 husband. You are the husband. Yes. Sir, can you hear? Yes, I hear. What about this man standing here? Huh? Huh? What about this man standing here? Can this man pay this price? He married this woman. Now, who are you? Husband. You are the husband. Yes. How many years meet this body? How many years meet this body? Huh? How many years with this body? Now what have you done to the marriage? Destroy. Nice. Destroy. Nice. Kill him. You have destroyed the marriage? Yes. What a marriage. What have you done to the husband? I do nothing for husband. Want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You want to kill this lady? Yeah. Why? Kill her. Want to kill her. Why you want to kill her? This one, I want to kill her. Hold on. Nothing for her. So that whatever you call her. <laughs> you want to kill this woman, all that man? This, this one, this one. Why? This because one. the man prays. It's okay, sir. Because the man prays. Huh? Whatever. Huh? Whatever. Whatever. Yes. Now. Your time is over. You must go. She makes me angry. Every time she... She pray for what? I you don't want her to pray? Pray for what? Pray for what? Pray for what? You don't want her to pray? Why? Why don't you want her to pray? Stay. Did I kill her? I finish her. You want I'll to kill her? Kill her. I kill this Okay. Why did you allow her to come to the conference? Hey, keep quiet. Turn right. Small demon. Why do you allow her to come here? Why do you allow her to come here? You do not know he's coming here. You do not know he's coming here. I want her to block. You don't want her to block. She's praying. She fast. She fasted. Yes. That came here. This one. This one is stubborn. This stubborn. One. Yes. She's praying, <laughs> praying, praying, fast, praying. He did not want you to come here. That you see, people wanted to come. The devil said, Don't go. This man is dangerous. Can you see? Not to show you I'm here. All this problem is going to finish. Now, spiritual husband, your time is over. You must go. You must go. Go. And never come back again. In Jesus' name. Poof. She's free. My bishop, you see my hand is clean. I didn't touch. This is the high level of deliverance. Pick your wife, sir. Pick your wife. Pick her. It is finished. Hold, 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 Congratulations. 
Your life has changed in Jesus' name. Thank you, prophet. It is why. Well. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just show you, you what I've taught you today. How are you? She's already been crying. She cannot even rise up from the chair. Right, rise up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Follow me. Come. Where you are coming from? Swako. It's far from here. Mm -hmm. Come. Just follow me. Don't want to. You cannot wait for the crusade. Come. Just follow me. Come. Here. Just come. 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 As you come closer to me. The light of your, the light is coming. Come, come. Now, give me the, yeah. Let me greet you. I've greeted you, and the power is transferred to you. Walk in Jesus' name. Walk, 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 walk. The Lord has healed you. Walk. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. The Lord has healed you. You are free in Jesus' name. This I'll be teaching you here is not magic. Can you see? It's not ma it's not magic. This I'm teaching you. Here. And what I'm doing is to demonstrate to you that it's true what I'm telling you. <laughs> I saw it the day. I got this message, this invitation from one of my friends, Pastor Klassen. The same night, I saw a man kind of standing at the, in front of a gate, I think a gate, like a gate of the house but he had a fence and uh, he asked me because I agree to come here and this when I came there he said what are you going to do and I said I, I'm going where my brothers are in Christ and he said are you going to pray I will not allow people to go and pray and I said, I will go and I will take my own way. The light is with me and I will go. That's why I'm here today and I see this. I see it. I see it. As the prophet said, oh. it was difficult. Come of your wife. Just follow me. Just follow me. Though I must hold my hand, hold my hand. Right hand of God is power, deliverance in the name of Jesus with Prophet Ellen Justin being led by the Holy Spirit. Continue watching your screen. Continua a assistir a manifestação desse senhor que está a ser libertado pelo profeta Justin aqui na capital de Vinduque, aqui na Namíbia. O telespectador neste momento abre o seu coração e tenha fé, sabe que Jesus Cristo é o único salvador. 
ndugu mtazamaji wa Blessing TV hivi sasa tuko Namibia mtumishi wa Mungu anampa maombezi e, mmoja ya watumishi wa Mungu ambao walikuwa wamefika hapa leo endelea kuangalia linga yako na nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu ikiendelea na mapepo wanatimka mwanga umeangaza mwanga umeangaza endelea kuangalia linga yako katika jina la Kristo Mwana yo lebeleze ngoha yezo ya launzo lebeleze ya kasatla sa modimu so khawana di keta ne mo mo rutin o o hapena harona bring him bring him out bring out is happening there behind there bring him out bring that man out bring him out bring him out bring him out Ivan leave him Continua assistir o profeta Justino como está a ser utilizado pelo Senhor para libertar esse Senhor em nome de Jesus Cristo. Em lei coangalia. Out of body. Out in Jesus name. Bring them out. Continue watching your screen and witness the manifestation of the evil spirit here at Windhoek the capital city in Namibia deliverance in the name of Jesus with prophet Ellen Justin all the way from Botswana right now he's here the holy spirit is here god himself Watch your screen. There is pastor's wife. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. The right hand of God is power. We are <laughs> Is free. We thank God for the wonderful deliverance. Glory to God. A senhora foi ser libertada no espírito do marido ciumento. Let the light shine over this place. Rise up. Rise up everyone, rise up here. Let the light speak to shine. Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Every day can is let the light shine let the light shine let the light shine that can disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ <laughs> Yes 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 it's happening everywhere It's happening everywhere It's happening everywhere Yes. Who are you? Who are you? Let the fire enter this place. <laughs> Let the fire enter this place. <laughs> Let the fire be to enter this place. Let the fire be to enter this place. Let the light shine. 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 Darkness be to disappear in this place. Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Let the light shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Raise up your hands. My hand against your hand. My hand against your hands. 
Look there, look there, it's happening over there behind there. My hand against your hand. My hand against your hand. It's happening everywhere! Cast them! Look there. Bring me this. This is manifesting. Yes. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. Raise up your hand. Look at me. Raise up your hand. Fire out of your body. Yes. The fire has entered. 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 Fire out of your body. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. There's no way you can go. This place light a shine. There's no way you can go. The light is shining all over this place. Namibia. Light must shine now. Light must shine in Namibia right now. Light must shine in Namibia right now. I say light must shine in Namibia right now. Every demon that is hiding in the mountain. That is hiding in the sea. That is hiding the value. That is hiding the rock. That is hiding in the dam. That is hiding in the value. Wherever you are hiding. Wherever you are hiding. Wherever you are hiding. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the media. <laughs> yes. Continue watching your screen. It's pastor's conference happening here in Windhoek, the capital city in Namibia, with Prophet Ellen Justin being led by the Holy Spirit. The pastors, the prophets, the bishops, and their wives, all they are here to receive the word and to receive deliverance and whatever they are looking for. In the topic, meaning equipping the leaders, equipping the pastors. Continue watching your screen and feel the anointing. Telespectadores, estamos aqui na capital da Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Continua a assistir. Estamos aqui na conferência dos pastores, para onde que o profeta Justino está libertar todo o pessoal que o que se fosse estar libertado neste momento, aquilo que o diabo depositou nos seus corpos estão a vomitar e estão a se manifestar. Você também abre o seu coração, tenha fé, sabe que Jesus Cristo é o único Salvador. 
jina la Yesu Kristo linafanya kazi katika roho ni kongamano la viongozi wachungaji na watu mbalimbali mbali ambao wamekuja hapa kuhudhuria mtumishi wa Mungu anahudumia katika uweza na nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu hii ni kuonyesha kwamba nguvu ya Mungu haizuiliwi wala kukomeshwa na umbali endelea kuangalia ulinga yako na wewe upokee mujiza wako katika jina Yesu Kristo Say Lord Jesus Forgive me all my sins Wash me by your precious blood Say my soul today be my redeemer be my savior be my deliverer be my lord by your blood I'm saved by your blood I'm delivered by your blood I'm overcome Oh, this world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Jesus name. Just a small turn around Botswana. There's something good can come out of Botswana. <laughs> There's something good can come out of Botswana. Don't despise. Namibia and don't be. Don't despise. I'm here. If you don't utilize it in this period, you are going to cry for it. It has reached in your corner. Make sure today and tomorrow you must utilize it. After tomorrow, I want to be here. You are going to follow me there. In Jesus' name. 